Hello and thank you for choosing Kinetic Hosting. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to manually install a mod pack on your Minecraft server. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this, shall we? All right, the first thing we need to do is get the loader that we will be using for our mod pack. So let's go ahead and go to the version installer in the game tools category on the kinetic panel. Click this vanilla drop down menu and then find the loader you need. For the sake of today's tutorial, I will be using Forge and I'll be using Forge 1.20.1, which is right here. So I can go ahead and click the install button and then just click the install button. All right, now let's go to the file manager to make sure everything installed correctly, which it did. Now let's go to the console page and just power on our server quickly. This is so the server can download and install everything that it needs in order for you to run a mod pack on your server. All right, now that the server has started once, we can go ahead and stop the server. All right, now let's go to CurseForge or the modding platform of your choice to get the mods from. Next, what we will be doing is getting the mods that we need and the correct game version. Next, let's check the description of the Waystones mod. As you can see, the description it says it requires Balm in order for the Waystones mod to work correctly. So go ahead and click on Balm and it should open up in a new tab. All right, now let's go back to the Waystones mod and click on Files all game versions and then let's find 1.20.1 and then all loaders let's click on forge right here you will see the game version is 1.20.1 for minecraft forge so let's go ahead and click on that now let's click on the download button and waystones is now downloaded now do the same thing for every single mod you need so you can download it correctly on your server without a hassle and then there we go i've gotten balm and then the waystones mod i need now let's go back to the kinetic panel and go to the file manager and then go to the mods folder. Now all we're going to be doing is dragging and dropping to upload these files into the mods folder within the file manager and you should be good to go. Next, let's go to the console page and then just start our server to make sure everything will boot up correctly here. If you are uploading a lot more mods to your server though, it may take longer for your server to boot online, so just make sure you watch out for that. Now, as you can see, my server has booted online without an issue with those two mods that I've selected. Now let's go ahead and hop to CurseForge so I can show you how to upload mods manually from the CurseForge client onto your server. All right, now that we're on CurseForge, let's go ahead and get these mods uploaded to my server. So click the three dots up here and then click on open folder. From there, you should see a few things here. Obviously, if there are more things like a configs folder or a default configs folder or even a cube.js folder or things that you need for this mod pack to work on your server, go ahead and get those as well. But now let's minimize CurseForge here and right click on our desktop and make a new zip archive here and you can just call it whatever i will be calling it mods for the sake of today's tutorial now let's go ahead and double click on this archive to open it and now let's go ahead and drag and drop this mods folder directly into the zip that we've created and just open it to make sure everything's there next close out of both of those folders and go back to the kinetic panels file manager we will be dragging and dropping the mods.zip directly into the kinetic panels main directory here i will know if you get a file limit error make sure to use sftp to upload that zip that you created we will have the video linked and our guide in the description of this video so you can check it out and get more information on how to upload it like that and as you can see mods.zip is here so let's go ahead and right click and then click on archive and then the mods folder will be right here and you can see both of the mods are here next go to the console and start your server and just like that, the mod pack will be loading on my server. However, make sure to watch for any client side mods while you are uploading mods to your server. With this, you can go to the file manager, go to that mods folder, and then clicking the disable button on any client side mod on your server, or you can just remove them entirely. Client side mods are things like shaders, shader packs, Anything to improve your client's FPS or performance is will not work on the server. So make sure to just disable those or remove them entirely just from the server. But overall, that is how you install a custom mod pack on your Minecraft server. If this video has helped you out, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe for future tutorials. Thank you so much for choosing Kinetic Coasting and watching this video. And we will see you around.